needs to check the support or or rejection of research hypothesis okay uh, just going to the first section that is reliability analysis so it has to be as i said before at least more than 0 0.70 so going there the actual survey analysis as confirmed earlier through pre-touch analysis the measures used were error free and biases reduced so just recap from the pre-test analysis and uh, okay 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 and uh, once again uh, the discussion was subjected to evaluation of survey instruments based on those evaluation the actual survey was it was readjusted to 45 item excluding demographic questions so earlier we had 50 but uh, we had some sort of a discussion during pre-test analysis and some of them were reduced and now there are 45 items altogether altogether so just going there the perceived performance risk, perceived financial risk, perceived psychological risk, perceived time loss risk, trust in online merchant and uh, purchase intention. All those variables having more than 0 0.70 as crown badge alpha coefficient value and their aggregate is more than 0 0.919 which is very good so what we can say is the data what we have taken through 400 respondents is reliable so coming back there so then we have another section that is data preparation and screening so under this we have several tests like outlier examination there, there can be many te uh, tests to examine outlier but uh, in our case we have used box plot test then we have normality test under which we have skewness, kurtosis and standard deviation range between minus 1 to plus 1 ok then we have uh, homogeneity test under which we have events test of homogeneity of variances at uh, significance value greater than 0.01 then we have multicollinearity test and uh, then we have Pearson correlation so all these all these tests will tell us whether our data is prepared or screened to conduct further test or not so according to here data screen is important since the data can contain entry errors and other errors that could comprise the analytical outcomes it is also important when referring to the cases where values could either be uh, could be either missing or mistakenly entered for the data analysis also instead of uh, writing 3 if you write for example 33 so uh, this will entirely disturb the analysis so data preparation and screening is pretty much important so okay then the study data was prepared and screened data preparation was done in four steps beginning with data validation editing coding of data followed by data entry error detection and data tabulation to convert raw data collected from this survey into meaningful information so now we have uh, outlier examinations I will not go very deep into it um, rather than rather than this i will suggest you to see this link or simply just go to youtube and on the search bar write SEM series 
so because these videos have pretty much more precise analysis telling you uh, how to conduct all these tests but so in this video what I am telling you is precisely for data preparation and screening you need these 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 tests so not going into detail here so you can just stop the screen and uh, read all these statements and uh, I'm going it in a slow manner right now so okay one last look there and uh,